Welcome to the wilds of Africa. What's that? What do I see there? Welcome to the wilds of Africa. This is a crazy place. At the bottom of the world here, a long ways from Canada. But wait, what's that? What do I see there? Let's have a look, a much closer look. Bear with me, Africa's a very scary place. Hold on to your seats and your hats and your toques and your mitts. What's that there? Can you believe it? It's a lion, a lion in the backyard. Yes, they run through the streets. Mad animals. These Africans are brave and hardy people. I'm Jill, thanks for joining me. Two weeks juicing detox in support of my friends Celeste and Jen. Love you girls, stay tuned for more from Africa. Never be seen, more to do. Hi everyone, I'm Jill. I'm Celeste's friend through Colette. Colette is my best friend. And I'm joining Celeste for two weeks of juicing in support of her and also for myself to get healthy. Uh, Jen is also a one of my best friends and she has joined us in healthy eating and juicing and just wanted to say how proud I am of you girls and keep up the great work. So um, yeah, uh, I'm in South Africa, a little town called Hermanus. Uh, if you google that, it's a whale watching seaside fishing village. Beautiful place, the weather is fantastic here this time of year. I'm going to do my very best to share with you a little bit of Africa, give you a bit of a taste of what it's like here. There aren't actually wild animals running through the streets like lions. Baboons, yes, I'll see if I can find some of them. They are on the outskirts of town in the mountains and they do come down to the seaside. But uh, if there's a chance that Yaku and I end up going to one of the wildlife parks, then I'll definitely do some footage and share some photos with you because it is an absolutely spectacular place. So for now, you're going to have to bear with me till something more exciting happens. In the meantime, let's get juicing! Okay, so now that you've had the absolutely crazy African mama introduction, you've had a glimpse as to what my imagination might be like in the day. Um, basically, I just wanted to give a little background information as to why I would join Celeste on her little juicing quest. Big juicing quest, actually. It's a huge ordeal. And I'm super proud of her. She's done amazing so far. Way to go, Celeste. Awesome job. Insert applause here. <laughs> I, would, I don't have that fancy one on my videos. Um, so anyways, yeah, basically a little background that you might want to know. I, I don't have too many health complications anymore. Um, in 2008, I was sent home from work. I was working on a cruise ship and it turned out I had Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, I tried, I can't even remember how many years it was now, two and a half years, I think, to do it alternatively. I tried everything under the sun, including a 43 day juice fast, so I know what it's like to go without food and have only juice for weeks and months on end. Unfortunately, that didn't do the trick for me. I ended up doing six months of chemo, and uh, it'll be two years this Christmas Eve since I finished chemo and that's also coincidentally Celeste's birthday so December 24th is an awesome day Christmas Eve too um, yeah so basically uh, when I did chemo I well I guess I should say even before chemo when I was trying to do alternative methods I struggled with healthy eating even though I knew what the right decisions were and of course once I was in chemo that should have been the time to eat the healthiest and instead I just kind of ate whatever I wanted so and since I finished I've still been on a ship I have the excuse of it's not easy to find the healthiest food when you're traveling abroad which sometimes it's difficult but now that I'm finally finished ships uh, my husband and I are moving to Penticton to land and uh, now I need to learn how to do things like cook and clean and all those crazy things that I got away with not doing for a decade. <laughs> so obviously I would like to start us off on the right foot and eating's a big part of that. Obviously I believe that what you eat affects your health greatly. I just need to put it to practice. So 
Um, it will be a challenge for me as well. Uh, I've been to plenty of places in South Africa. You can get organic food, but it's about an hour and a half away. And um, interestingly enough, I find that the produce doesn't last as long as it does in Canada. If you buy a packet of raspberries, if you don't eat them within a day or two, by the third day there's mold or they're rotten, which is bad because you want it to last long, but it's also good because it makes you realize that, oh, it's actually a lot fresher and less preserved than the stuff we get in Canada. So in any case, uh, I don't want to ramble on too long and bore you guys to tears. So i am decided that I've, I'm going to commit to two weeks of juicing to see how things go, give myself a little bit of a kickstart before we head back to Canada. There's tons of wonderful produce here. It's summer here. The weather's beautiful, fresh coconuts. I'll do a little spiel on grenadillas, one of my favorite things in life. Hopefully, maybe I might convince you to try them too. Um, I've done a little video of going to the grocery store and what it looks like, and I'll just try and entertain you as best I can with uh, life in South Africa. It's pretty much the same as it is in Canada with a few subtle differences here and there, and a few major ones here and there too. And uh, as I promised, I will do my best to get some African animals on here so that it's not too dull and boring and dry. But uh, as for climbing out of bushes and putting stuffed animals in the yard, I promise I won't do that anymore. <laughs> Have a great, great day. And uh, Celeste, keep up the amazing work. And to all of Celeste's friends and family who've been putting all the wonderful comments and support for her, that makes me so elated to see. And for my friend Jen, I'm so proud of you and I'm so happy that you and Celeste embarked on this journey at the same time and that you found each other. That's fantastic. I hope that great things will come of it. Love you both lots and cheers from Mama Africa. Bye. Right, so here we are in Checkers. We've got cucumber, celery, granny Smith apples, and red peppers, lemons, parsley, beetroot with beet greens, baby spinach, carrots, and I uh, just thought I'd give you a quick little run through. Huge watermelons. Look at the size of these melons. It's about $10 a kilo. And these are the lovely ladies that help you out. They're shy. And this is their till system. This really amazes me. So you, you put your fruit in the bag and then you bring it to them and they weigh it. And then they put a sticker and then you put it in your basket. A little bit different. <laughs> and... Um, Beautiful produce section here. I'll just show you the grenadillas around the other side. So these would be ripe grenadillas, and they are 49.99 rand per kilo, which is about six bucks. So, anyways, it's a nice big grocery store, much like the grocery stores everywhere else, except they have magazines and DVDs in Afrikaans and in English. People give me a few funny looks. I think they're a bit shy. Not much for organic produce here, unfortunately. But uh, if we go over here, my most favorite thing in the shop, fresh, green, young coconuts. And they are $24.99. This is the expensive place. We'll go to the cheap place before we get them again. But um, anyways, yeah, there you have it. There's a uh, dairy, meat, toys, and of course, juice, yada, yada, yada. And since they don't have Thanksgiving here, everything's decorated for Christmas already. And they don't really celebrate Halloween either. So this was actually up before Halloween. Interesting enough. Okay, that's it from Checkers. Bye.